All right, so welcome back to the channel. A little bit different video today. Today is gonna to be a reaction video, which I have never done one of these, but I figured for the sake of doing it, I would try it. I wanted to do this with Electricana, but I didn't have my ducks in a row in time, so I got the opportunity to do it for Jim Conner 2022, featuring Travis Pastrana, not featuring Star, and Travis Pastrana, and featuring a bunch of people like Ryan Anderson, uh, Cletus McFarland, the Jet Ski Dude, I don't know his name. Uh, there's other people in there as well. There's a lot of people in there. I'm expecting that they killed it because one, Scotto's a great director. Brian Scotto, if you don't know him, he's one of the founders of Hoonigan. Great, amazing director. And then you pair that with Travis Pastrana, who is a legend of the sport, and you get something like this. So let's watch. It's here for sure. Okay. Let's, uh, no, not yet. I know. <laughs> Stop it. Without further ado, I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. <clears throat> I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, and I thought I should do a review or whatever. Like, a, I should do a reaction to the 2022 Jim Connor. I woke up at 6 a.m., was going to watch it, and then realized, no, I should do a live reaction to Jim Connor. So, here we are. So we're doing it live on Twitch, and then I'm filming over here for YouTube as well. So we'll be posting this later for those of you who didn't get to make it to the stream. Or you just rewatch the stream. Or watch the YouTube video. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Listen. The legacy of Jim Khanna has been, from the very beginning, involving Subaru. And then it got into Ford at one point, And then now with Travis Pastrana and, and coming into it, then Subaru gets to come back into it. And then we just had Electricana had just dropped, which was the Audi debut into the Gymkhana series, I believe. But the very first one, I remember the very first Gymkhana and how impactful that was in my life. I remember watching that and my mom had just gotten an 06 STI Hawkeye. That was such a big deal for me in in my like career choice or what I wanted to do with my life when I saw that video and saw how gangster that car was. The editing, the way he ran the walls and the wood stuff, all of those things impacted me like crazy. And the coolest part about how much it impacted me is that now I've gotten to the point where like I know Brian Scotto. Like I talk to the guy. I work with them. I work with Hoonigan. I, I've met Ken before, which he's still kinda up there and all that. So like you don't really you don't look, you don't really get to talk to Ken. Okay. Elite. But the point is, is like I get to see, I get to see these guys now in person, and I get to work with them, and like I get to drive with these guys. So it has influenced my life in such a crazy way. I love it. It made me want to make videos. I even have some old videos that were like shot like a Jim Conna. I think, uh, what was the first one that we shot? What year was that? Like 2000? It was like 2010 or 11. Yeah, but I'm about to watch. I don't want to go. And you, I'm not gonna show that. And then get followed up by Travis Pastrana, okay? Listen. But I think it was like 2010, 2011, we shot like our first drift video. And it was totally styled like a Ken Block, Jim Connor like thing that we wanted to do. Like Scotto and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I didn't have a Subaru. I had an E30. So anyways, with all that being said, I love the Jim Connor series. And I cannot wait to watch this. On top of that, this being Travis Pastrana is such a big deal for me as well. So I have a childhood hero who again I've met and is one of the most awesome dudes I've ever met in person. Like he's one of the heroes you should absolutely meet if given the chance. And then on top of that, this being a Jim Connor series that also influenced me. So two things that influenced me heavily have now merged and had a baby. And here it is. Jim Connor 2022. This is the first time I'm watching this. I might, I might, I might end up pausing in between. I'm probably definitely going to pause in between. Let's go. You ready? Whew, here we go, boys. Go time. Oh, yeah. so awesome. yeah. oh, no. This just in. Action sports icon Travis Pastrana was involved in a base jump mishap today in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Okay. Active arrow, 
so sick. One sixty five. Holy. That's dope. I like that. Throwing threes. Always got to throw a three down the straightaway. You take that big area and you make it look, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? That was sick. A little 50 50 real quick. Ugh, no tire marks. First shot. First shot was the shot. Yes, from the OG. Scotto on the Segway. I love that this gets implemented in like not all the gym conos but a lot of them because it's such a sick like it's such a sick visual yep a little alley-oop right there I'm going that way no I'm not I'm going this way here we go some slippery floor driving right here. Yeah, dude. Cooking. You got to understand, too, when these all-wheel drive cars hook up, they get going fast, bro. Ryan Anderson with the nose willy. <laughs> Yo, Travis. Yo, Ken does a, a low rider, and then Travis Vetrano is like, let me show you what me and my people do. I believe those things are like 9,000 pounds or 12,000 pounds or something. If that thing landed on top of this car, just matted. No lift shift in this thing, dude. It's so badass. Oof. Smooth, too. Yeah, a little Vin? A little this versus that? <laughs> Cletus McFarlane, baby. Just smokes him down the straight. No traction. Ah, oh, dude. Wow, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was perfect. That was absolute, that was the perfect camera angle. Dude, whoever set, the, oh my God, dude. See, there's times where there's just like a divine intervention when you're filming. And there's no explanation for this, but just God's timing. Look at this shot off the fender, look at it. Cletus is just in frame, parachute. Oh, dude, that's so good. That's such a badass shot, dude. I don't even know how to explain that. This is beautiful. Cooking. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It just eats up a curb? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> I want a car like this in my life. It just eats a curb. It eats a curb like it's not even there. I mean, it definitely responded like it was there, but dude, just eats it and goes. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is sick. So I saw, I saw a couple of clips. JT was involved in this one. This is insane, dude. So American with the Black Rifle partnership, it's just like, yeah, that's what we do, baby. Look at that majestic freedom.
America, Florida. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Nosed in. Oh. It keeps going. Wait, did we see how fast he was going there? Did it show? Okay, so 163 on attack there. It's, I can't see it. Oh, 130 something. Dude. Yo, that's a heavy landing, bro. Oh my God. Another? Over the little bird? Let's go! <laughs> that was smoother landing. <laughs> I like how he I like how he comes uncomposed and then he's back. He's like We're cool. We're good, we're good. Oh my god, bro. Oh yeah, Florida boys. This is definitely a Florida thing. Thing looks like a Gundam when all the active arrow comes up. Just like, yeah. I have one somewhere around here, dude. His car looks like this. His car looks like this, chat. That's what it looks like. It looks like that. Oh, is he, he out here crab walking? Is that a flex? Is that a flex like in the truck world? Oh, a water skim moment? He just had a hydro plane moment? Oh. Oh, I've seen this. Okay, so. So he hits this, okay? I saw behind the scene footage of this. He hits this and then comes out of it and comes undone and like comes straight at a camera guy and barely saves it. Mm. Boop. Look at that thing. So here, look at Let's see if we can see the marks, because I think this was second attempt. You can't see him, but he comes flying through this grass on one of those attempts and almost takes out the camera guy. Insane. This car is absolutely... It, it seems like it's absolutely indestructible. I'm sure it was repaired on set. Look at it. It's just going. He's just like, ah, I'm just along for the ride at this point. Do you see how much higher the car was, too, than it normally was? What do we got here? Oh, a little whip, 180. 360, let's go, baby. Yeah, that little bird's got some movement in it, huh? That's a tight circle. Is Travis Pastrana the first person to do tandem donuts with a helicopter? That's kind of sketchy if you think about, like, if he gets hooked up on it or, like, one of those helicopter blades. It'd probably eat straight through that cage in that windshield. What's he doing? Oh no. Uh, looky over there at the perfect flip opportunity if I've ever seen one. The SVX. It's like the future, but in the past. And over here we got a mechanic special. One owner, he still lives in her. And who can forget the Woody? This one has gluten free doors. And our latest addition, the all new Subaru WRX. It comes with not five, but six speed, a turbo, all wheel drive, and four cylinders. This baby's ready to rock. But I still got to give her my stamp of approval. <laughs> so this is like the commercial for Jim Connor. Tarmac approved. Ice. Snow. Snow approved. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> just, just jumps in the backyard. Yeah, Travis approved, baby.
Is that it? I mean, respectfully. Oh, it ended so fast, I didn't want it to end. Yeah, Scotto. Good job, Scotto. This would have been such a sick... Oh, Diego? Wait a second. Diego, Will Rogi. I don't know who this guy is. Ron. I know Ron. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Into the pit. There's the flex. I guess it is a flex. Wait, well, that wasn't in the film. Oh, are they going to show the accident? Did he go back and redo it? Oh, no. Uh, that's when he loses it. Oof. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my boy B Moore is filming on one of these cameras nearby. I don't know which one. He gets the shot. Travis hits the floor and bounces, and it makes the gnarliest sound. And B Moore says that he literally almost threw up, like right away. He ended up like breaking his wiener. So, like, the connection inside of his wiener was broken for a while. Had to pee through like a catheter or something. I don't know. I don't know all the medical science behind this. But it was like a heavy hit. Broke a bunch of stuff. Dude. Hold on. I gotta see that again. <laughs> Dude. Just the sound. Did they put that in there? Or is that the sound? Oh. Oh. That looks like it hurt. 100% good. Might have a little bit of a crack in the pelvis. There's a chance I have a little bit of internal stuff. Hey. <laughs> what a legendary human being, dude. <laughs> There's a definitely a crack in the pelvis. 100% good. Might have a little bit of a crack in the pelvis. There's a chance I have a little bit of internal stuff. Hey. Broken hips. So that halted the shooting of the sh of Jim Conn 2022 too for a while. Like I think that was like pretty early into it, and then they had to wait for a long time to film some other stuff. But, dude, uh, Dion, let me be let me be honest. First of all, Dion, stop your crying. Okay, nobody wants to hear it. I'll be completely honest with you. Much better than Electricana. I said it. I said it. This was way sicker. Respectfully, way sicker, bro. A lot more like moving parts involved. I love that there's a bunch of like cameos. This was super gangster, dude. The only thing I wish is that it was longer. Obviously. That's what she said. I wish that it went on for a little bit longer of a time, but I know that there's a lot more involved than just like me sitting here in my office chair going, I wish the, I wish the video was longer. But dude, this was epic. This was epic. And it and it and it really like there's nothing less to expect when you see something that Travis Strong is gonna be a part of. Nothing less. Like look at that. You can't expect anything else from this guy. Oh, you guys can't see it on Twitch, sorry. Insane. I'm proud of the boys. This is amazing. For what it's worth, which I know it ain't worth much. I'm proud of these guys. This was an awesome film. The sheer just like capability of this car.
the all-wheel drive, the way it rotates, the suspension, the way he manages the whole thing. Legendary, bro. The Audi does cost a lot more money, which is kind of not a flex because the Subaru is way sicker than the Audi. The cool thing about the Audi is the instant torque that it has and the way it just lights the tires up. Like, if you watch the tachometer in Electricana, it's like zero, a hundred. Like, it jumps in like tens every time Every time it uh, moves. You see it go like, oh, it's 60, 70, 80. Like, it just starts going crazy. It jumps in very large numbers as far as wheel speed is concerned. This is insane, bro. Dreams. I would dream about being featured in one of these videos. One day. One day I'll be able to be a part of something crazy like this. I want to I want to go now I want to go drive my WRX. This makes me want to go drive my rally car. I got a handbrake coming in for it, so that's going to be cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about these reaction videos. Uh, I'll probably end up doing some more as more content gets released. But, dude, huge shout-out to the boys. Brian, Ken, obviously, for founding it. And Travis, the Black Rifle Boy, Subaru, Yokohama. Everybody who is willing to jump in and do something amazing like this for the community, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your hard work. I know that this was a lot. And uh, the biggest appreciation to Travis. You went through hell to make this video happen for us. And uh, we appreciate you and your ballsiness, bro. As always, boys, stay safe.